All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons, my first stream of the week of this game. I believe we're starting not only a new week of content in the game, but I believe there may be some kind of a holiday going on for this week. I guess we're going to find out. I don't know what it entails, so let's see. Good evening, everyone. Right now on Paw Print, it's 7.19 p.m. on Thursday, May 21st. I have an exciting announcement to share on behalf of our island's esteemed mu museum director, Blathers. <clears throat> in honor of International Museum Day, the museum will hold a stamp rally from May 18th to the 31st. Doesn't that sound like fun? I hope everyone heads over to the museum and joins in the rally. Okay, I don't know what that is. I guess we're going to see tonight. What is this stamp rally? I don't know. That's all for today, so have a fun out there. Okay. And, you know, it should be fun not only because of that, but because uh, every once in a while it's nice to go in there and tour the museum and just see what's going on, see what the new additions were added, you know, what did Cat add, and stuff like that, so. All right, first of all, the vest is coming off, folks, because guess what? That's not the one I wanted. I, I like this earbuds combo. I'm probably going to put away a few things, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, before we, we do this, let's go put some stuff away. Um, but... This will be fun because we, we don't go to the museum that often. It's just to walk through and see anything new that's been added in the last week or two. would be pretty nice. Oh, let's get some stuff here. Stored away. Oh, crap. No, I, didn't wanna, oh, I don't want a futon on my floor. Whoops. I still have a, no a Nook Miles ticket. That's good. I have a leftover Nook Miles ticket. Looks like we're good to go on everything else. Like we have resources we need. We're pretty much set to go. Okay. Cool. Wings of Redemption. Not the real one. Did 100 bit chances. I can't believe you had chili without me. Well, it wasn't Wendy's chili. It was about 4 million times better than Wendy's chili. So um, you didn't miss anything since that's what you like. Shit. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Did you see that? I was loading. Hold on a sec. I got rank of A again on my house. I'm surprised. I actually did improve my house pretty significantly. I guess it's not good enough, though. All right, well, they gave me an A. What about Cherry? My usual morning walk takes me right by the post office. This morning, I thought, hey, why not write my buddy a letter? So I did. It feels pretty good. You should try writing one to me. Unpredictably, Cherry. That's the first time an Islander has written me a letter. But, you know, I wrote my wife letters and included items and stuff. But that's the first time an Islander unsolicited sent me a letter. That's kind of nice. All right, we'll, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Here we go. No, I have not found a Tarantula Island. I just got asked if I've gone to Tarantula Island yet. Like, it's not that I haven't tried. I've gone to many of these islands. I've not run into a Tarantula Island yet. Nope. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to approach very slowly. We don't want to freak out blathers, okay? Darkside Chris just tipped me 30 bucks. Wow, thank you, Darkside Chris. He says, how's it going with me? I bought this game a few days ago. Now I can't take my hands off my Switch, damn it. It's good stuff. This is such a relaxing game. Every time I play this game, even if, like, the rest of the day beforehand has been stressful or there's stuff going on behind the scenes that, that's, like, you know, annoying me, I just, like, really gel out when I play this game because I get to talk with you guys and just relax and just do do stuff that's not, like, like, like I said, no stress at all in this game. There's no expectation when you play Animal Crossing that you have to get something done or do something. So because of that, I actually really, really enjoy it. And I hope that you enjoy it too, Dark Cyclist. Thank you for a $30 tip. I appreciate that very, very much. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what Blathers have to say. Good evening, Phil. Welcome to Paw Print Museum. Today in honor of International Museum Day, we're holding a stamp rally. Okay, what is that? It works thusly. The bug, fish, and fossil galleries each have three stamp stations. You must find the stations within each gallery and acquire necessary stamps to earn a prize. Okay. You earn three unique prizes, one for completing the rally in each of the three galleries. It's true. Be sure to give it a go, Wills, for using the museum's many fine exhibits. Okay. All right. Why don't we start in the, the dinosaur area and see what the heck's down there? Uh, Timbo Chudy said, I would love to have the chance to play Animal Crossing trying to find a Nintendo Switch to buy. It's not possible. Yeah, you know. They're, they are a hot commodity right now for sure because of the pandemic. Uh, this must be it. Stamp spot vertebrates. Now these guys are some big backbone. Okay. Fair enough. It looks like we got almost all of them, right? Like this area is pretty populated. I think we might have find, found all the vertebrates. 
Derek, no, I never had a scavenger hunt before at school. No, no, no. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever done a scavenger hunt in my life. Nope. Aha! Uh -huh. Stamp spot, synapses. Distant relatives of mammals. Huh. Boop. Okay. So wood. I bet the third stamp area is in the next room, I bet. Oh, we finished the pterodactyl up there. Yeah, we completed a lot. Look, there's the stegosaurus. We did a lot of work, my wife and I, collecting all these uh, fossils. We're not done yet, but some pretty damn good progress in there, right? See the god that is untrue. He says, if you see, NASA scientists may have found evidence of a parallel universe. It's completely debunked today. The whole story is fake. It's based on an article from 2016 that didn't even have it itself fact-checked. And after that weirdo article came out yesterday and everyone thought it was real, scientists actually fact-checked it today and completely debunked it and said, what a piece of shit. So, no parallel universes. Sorry, guys. Snoozy Miku, cheers. Have you ever played the previous Animal Crossings? How do you compare it to this one? I have never played an Animal Crossing before this one. So I do not have any comparison. I can't. I have no frame of reference. All right. Cenozoic. What are those silhouettes above and behind, behind them? Boop. I collected all the fossil stamps. Okay. So now we're done with the fossil area. And we go back. We, well, we go to the bugs and we go to the fish. All right. I guess what this is, it's just a reason to go through the museum and see what you've got, I guess. Especially for people who maybe haven't been here in a very long time. They'd be, you know, inter interested in to see how many things are in the museum. I know Cash actually told me she caught a couple bugs the last few times she played this. She was getting some unique bugs on islands. Yes. Uh, the T-Rex is completed. Okay. She stuffed... What the fuck did you just post in the stream chat? It's like some fucking... I'm not even kidding. Like a sexual fan fiction of Harry Potter where Voldemort is, is measuring his penis against someone else. I mean, do we really have to talk about that stuff on my gameplay streams? Really, man? <laughs> Jesus. I take it back. These streams are not very relaxing. They're very, very stressful. Okay, I don't see any bugs here, right? <clears throat> Here's the water bug. Actually, there's two kinds of water bug. That's a different one. Oh, a diving beetle. Oh, she just caught that on the 13th, about a week ago. I never seen the diving beetle. The, I've seen the giant water bug. Oh, look at that, another new one. A pond skater. Cat found a lot of water bugs. That's cool. <clears throat> VG stuffed, I don't want to know what you replaced, what words you replaced in your sentence about that. I just don't want to know about it. Thanks for the cheer, though. Folks, cheers, if you really want smoke, I hope you puff with a full chimney. Wait, what? I don't know. I hope you pull up with a chimney. Oh, my God. Anyway, look, it's a stamp station, everybody. The quiet bench. Sometimes it's nice to take a short breather and relax on the bench. All right. The quiet bench. Is that some kind of a colorful moth right there? I don't know what that is. Look at that. There's the man face stink bug. A oh, a honeybee. I've never even seen the honeybee either. Wait, what? It says I got it on March 26th? When did I catch a honeybee? <clears throat> I don't remember that at all. It must have been a completely random occurrence. I don't remember. The tiger beetle we've seen many times. What about that moth, though? There's a moth sitting right there. Dude, there's a praying mantis. The mantis. Stink bug. It's not referencing the moth, though. Right? Hold on a second here. No PW Dubs, I'm not drinking. There's a moth right there, and the game doesn't tell you what it is. That's weird. That there's a moth right in your face, and it doesn't reference it. Like, that's an emperor butterfly right there, I know. I don't know. Nothing there. You know, keep in mind, I think that the bugs may actually end up being the hardest thing in the game to collect. Because not only are they seasonal, but 
it doesn't seem like there's a lot of variety of bugs around at any particular time. It seems more like it's reliant on luck if you're visiting someone else's island. Or that's the Atlas Maw. Yes, that I reckon I recognize. It seems more like it's reliant on luck or it's reliant on Oh look at the spider up there. It's reliant on just like season, like certain timing. A spider. That's right. I remember catching the spider at the end of April. Oh, there he goes. Boy, yo, 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 And there's the, uh, I forget the name of that bug. Okay. Let's still say it. But, Ninstar Root here said, Did you hear Peta got butt hurt about the museum in this game? Oh, I don't give a shit about Peta. Ha 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 ha. No one else should either. They're uh, one of the most stupid, hypocritical organizations on the planet. They're fucked. They're fucked up. Self serving dingleberries. Anyway. Ooh, I like the tarantula. He's dancing. Ooh. Aha, here's the stamp. Hiding bugs. Masters of disguise. Boop. Okay. Some moths. This is the uh, centipede, it looks like. Oh, uh, uh, Derek asked, did I ever see any animals in my parents' backyard when I was a kid? I saw a bunny one time. Um... Uh, squirrels all the time. My parents had tons of squirrels in my in the in the, the backyard where I grew up. Constant squirrels, actually. Uh, oh, that's cool. That's the uh, the cricket mole. Uh, the cricket mole. The mole cricket. I don't know what goes here though. We never found it. There's something there. No, there's nothing there. Okay. Yeah, the mole mole cricket. But yeah, tons of squirrels for sure. Uh, but outside of that. Not much. We had an enclosed backyard, so it wasn't like animals could freely roam. But here where I live, we get a lot of stuff. We get uh, rabbits, for sure. Wild rabbits running in the backyard. We get squirrels. We've seen uh, wild, like, field mice running around. Uh, rats, unfortunately. What can you do? There's rats. Um, nothing huge, though. Nothing, like, we wouldn't see a deer, nothing like that around here. It's more small animals that would live in trees and run around, like, a, 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 a field or something like that. That's what we're looking at. And birds. Tons of birds out here where I live in Washington. Beautiful birds. Things that have giant, uh, you know, you know, they have the, the different crested or the different colored uh, bre breasts. Sometimes you have a red breast, a blue breast. And they dance around the lawn in the back eating bugs out of the lawn. Oh, man, we got a lot of birds around here. They're really nice. We do get spiders ready back, but that's not really a wild animal. We're not talking about insects. Uh, Snort Gang to the dollar thirty. So I was gonna wear my vest to the celebration on Wednesday, but I can't find it. I need a backup plan. Please advise. Man, what I would say is if you can't get a, a if it's short notice and you cannot get yourself a vest for the celebration on Wednesday, take a paper bag like a grocery bag and cut a hole out of the top and out of the sides and put your head and arms through the holes and it's a, it's a paper vest. See that? You can do that. That's an impromptu. Drakiri, just resubscribed for three months and said, please ask my wife Kirby to stop watching and clean the house. Okay, then. Sounds good. A flea. That's right, I caught off of, of uh, one of the villagers. Paper kite butterfly. I never got that one. Cat did. That's nice. Will I be time skipping? No. Cat and I will not time skip. We're just going to play this slow and relaxing. We're in no rush to complete anything. You know what I mean? Like, we, we don't want to, to rush through events. and We just want to experience everything along with the normal time frame of the game. It'll certainly really be cool over the course of the year to celebrate different uh, holidays, right? With everyone on streams in Animal Crossing. All the different holiday ce celebrations I'm sure they're going to be doing every month will be pretty neat. Beautiful Butterfly to me a dollar and says, What's your opinion on the... Oh, in your opinion, what's the worst Final Fantasy and, and Tales game? I've only played, like, one or two Tales games, so I cannot answer that at all. Um, Final Fantasy, the w only one, out of all the ones that I never completed, uh, there's two that I played that I never completed. Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy III. Twelve I never completed because I liked the gameplay more than the story. I thought the story was boring as dirt. Three, I don't even like the story or the gameplay. Like, I hated that game, so I don't know if I'll ever go back to that one. But I would say three out of in my personal experience is my my least favorite. Even though I don't like eight, I think three is actually worse. Uh the common blue bottle. Blue bottle, uh, I guess butterfly. The ladybug and the snail. I like the ladybug. 
The Madagascan Sunset Moth. I was going to say, i never seen that thing. Cat caught that beautiful thing. The Raja Brooks Birdwing. Cat also caught that one. She got a lot of different, like, butterflies and moths and stuff that I never saw. Whoa, like, that's some popping right there. Queen Alexandria's Bird Wing. Also, Cat caught that one. And the Emperor Butterfly. I know I caught that one. And there's a froggy in there on the lily pad. That's nice. I've caught a frog as well, but that would probably be in the fish area, even though it's not a fish. All right, the Butterfly Garden. Sitting on a bench at this fountain is about as classy as it gets. So I've been to areas and places where you can go inside like an atrium and they have wild like just butterflies and moths just flying around loose and they can land on you and stuff, which is really nice. Uh, there's actually one in Seattle at the Pacific Science Center where they do that. Now, of course, that's been closed for two effing months because of the pandemic. If it ever opens up again, maybe I'll go back there because it's really nice. Uh, the man of orange 23 did 100 bit cheers with the positive success of the vestry. Has your opinion of content creators implementing gimmicks changed? Let me put it this way, all right? If you're a content creator and you are yourself and people like the quality of your content and get positivity in it, good for you, all right? Personally, in my opinion and my own tastes, I like people who are honest and themselves. I don't like people who's portraying a character, people who are acting for the camera, people who are trying to overdo it. For example, the, the, the content creators who scream at the top of their lungs every time they play a horror game, even though nothing's really scary. The content creators who dress up in really brightly colored things. They dye their hair in neon colors. Why are they doing that? Because they're trying to look like cartoon characters to attract children to their streams. It's very simple. It's not complex rocket science, okay? They're acting over the top to try to attract young kids to watch their content and hopefully make money off of it. They have sponsorship deals where they sell that merch and shit. That's what it's for, Okay. I personally don't like that. Now, you can like that, and it's okay if that's what you like. My personal preference is I like people who are honest and upfront and real with you. That's what I've always stro striven, uh, striven, wow, strived to do was to be real with you, to let you know when you're playing, when I'm playing a game and I'm interacting, I'm talking to you, this is like what it's like to hang out with me in real life. That's what my streams are like, it's being chill, positive vibe, not an over-the-top cartoon character, things that were pre-orchestrated so that every time something little in a game happens, I scream and I act and I, you know, I don't, I've never been like that. I'm not trying to get fucking kitty sponsors and stuff like that. I just want to have fun with games. That's all I've ever wanted to do since the first day I made a video on YouTube, okay? So, that's me. Now, you might argue, but well, what about the vest? When you hit the vest streak, you put on the vest, right? And that's not really you. Do I change when I put on the vest? All of a sudden, do I, do I transform into like, you know, some weirdo guy bouncing off the walls or whatever. Still me. It's the same fill. I'm just wearing a vest. And for some reason, people like me putting on a vest in celebration um, about something. It's something, by the way, it's nothing I even came up with. It's something that, that the viewers came up with on the fly. It was an organic thing that just happened over the course of March that caught on. All right? So it's different than to say, oh, I turn on my stream, but... I'm wearing sunglasses, a fake, fake hair, uh, fake facial hair, a, a fucking flak vest, and I'm acting like a 1980s action hero for my stream. I'm a character, see? And by the way, I'm not saying there's something wrong with that. I'm saying my personal preference is someone who's real. If you like watching a character on a stream, by all means, go watch those characters. Have fun. But I don't like that, and that's why, personally, I don't like those gimmicks. The vest is a gimmick for sure, but it's not a gimmick that changes me and makes me fake. And that's why I think it's fine, and that's why I don't mind doing it. Okay? Hope that clarifies. Um, Ryan uh, did a 50-bit cheer and said, just hopped in and heard the gimmick thing. The vest is not a gimmick. It's something the community wanted. Well, <laughs> I literally just said that. Yeah, I didn't come up with it. It's something that the viewers came up with on the fly. So, thank you for the cheer, by the way, Ryan. Um... Sam said to me a dollar thirty. So the next event in this game will be the wedding season. It runs from June first till the thirtieth. Now I'm curious. It sounds to me like wedding season means they're going to have wedding themed things in the game, like maybe you know dresses, outdoor, uh, you know seating and tables, and maybe giant flower arches. You know what I mean? If you think about outdoor weddings and how crazy they can be and how elegant they can be and extravagant, maybe that's what it's going to be. I don't really know. You know, if it's wedding season, you would think that's what it's going to be. Now, what I hope 
is that, it, by the way, I click at all the bug stamps. That's good. What I hope is that it's not as overbearing as uh, Bunny Day was. Bunny Day, which ran for most of April. And everyone was so effing tired of Bunny Day by the time that it ended. Because it was eggs, 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 eggs. You know, everywhere you went. Eggs in the ground. Eggs in the sky. Eggs in your pants. Eggs out the ass. Holy eggs. Enough of the eggs. Let's do something different, you know. And people were so so tired of it. So I hope that's, if it's a whole month running event, I hope it's not like that. I hope they make it more interesting. Okay. Does Kat have, have more bells in this game than me? I have no idea. I don't check her account to see how many bells she has. I don't know. The other thing is, guys, there was a misconception because people were like, oh, Kat just plays this constantly off, off the air or whatever. When the game first came out, she played it a lot. She still plays it. I'd say she probably plays it once or twice a day for a little bit. She's not constantly playing Animal Crossing. It's funny because some people will say... Well, Phil, you just played this three days ago. I don't see anything different on your island since the last time you played. It's like, yeah, she probably turned it on, talked to all the islanders, got a few new DIY uh, schematics, maybe did a few things, bought a few things, maybe redecorated her house, or added something to her house, and then she turned it off. She didn't sit here for 17 hours for the last two days straight playing the game. You know what I mean? She plays it casually like me. So you can't expect the world just because two of us are playing it, you know? Okay, here we go. Serenity Tank. Little guy's just chilling in a little tank. Must be nice. Little guy's in a little tank. Snoozy Biku cheered and said if you were stranded on an island like Animal Crossing and you only had three games to play for the rest of your life, what would they be and why? The answer would be Super Mario World. I'd have to decide probably between Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI, and I can't do that off the top of my head. And then I would probably want to take a fighting game with me, so some iteration of Street Fighter II. And the reason is because Super Mario World is my favorite platformer of all time. Every time I replay it, I like it just as much as every time I ever had. I love story-based RPGs that have variable combat and you can replay them different ways. Both Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI not only have different variations in combat depending on who's in your party, but also Chrono Trigger has like all these different storylines and endings, plus great soundtracks. Um, but I can't decide between the two. I love them both. And uh, Street Fighter II is just... I don't even have to explain myself there, do I? You guys know I grew up playing the game in arcades, so I still... Even playing against the CPU, I still have tons of fun playing that game. The Blue Gill. The Black Bass. The Carp. The Koi Fish. Very nice. Welcome back, Quincy the Duck. The Crawfish. The Snapping Turtle. How nice. The Invisible Whale. Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Derek says, if you had to watch three TGIF shows while stranded on an island, what would you watch? You mean from old school TGIF from like the 80s and 90s? I mean, I used to watch the original, so it was Full House, Family Matters, Step by Step, and I can't remember the fourth one. There were four. It was in a block that they would play every Friday night. I can't remember what the fourth one was. Now, later on, I used to watch sitcoms such as uh, Home Improvement. I really liked Home Improvement. And then after that one, we watched Seinfeld together. And sometimes my parents and I would watch Friends as well. But yeah, TGIF, it was those that trilogy. That trilogy of shows was the ones that I always watch. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan says, any chance of a marathon of your favorite games sometime, like a weekend where you get the schedule based on your favorite games? Well, I mean, what I usually do is, I, if you haven't noticed, the past couple of years, I've just been saying, screw it. I don't care if people want to see it or not. I'm just going to play some of my favorite games. So early 2019, I played Final Fantasy IV. Early this year, I played Final Fantasy VI. I would love to go back and play Chrono Trigger again. Um, and at some point, I want to play Lost Odyssey for sure. So those are going to happen at some point. I don't know when. But it's not going to be like a marathon or anything like that. It would be more like it's a playthrough I do in balance with everything else that I do. Okay. Anchovy. So a cat caught an anchovy and it turned into a school of anchovies. I've never seen an anchovy in the wild. Oh my god, this is a pretty cool tank. Now that we got these giant dudes, who's in here? That's the oar fish. Both cat and I have caught that. The football fish, I caught that. What is that? Whoa. The cola can. Look at the size of that thing. That thing's nuts. It has so many fins compared to other fish. Cola can. I've never seen that before. Very nice. 
Um, Papa Cuddles took me $4.20 and says, Seems like only yesterday Jasper became your son. Who is his favorite wrestler and does he like Jin? <laughs> no. He doesn't have a favorite wrestler because he's a cat and he doesn't watch wrestling. He doesn't like Jin. He likes fish. True story. Okay. Thank you for the $4 tip. Um, this is nothing, right? It's just like a sub or whatever. You can't do anything with that. Yellow submarine. The vest streak has made me powerful. It did. <laughs> it did. People are like, I feels changed since the vest streak. Oh, I have. Oh, wow! I grow a third arm. Hell. Anyway, let's see here. Mister Ken hold the verses. Great white shark will go in the same tank as the anchovies. Uh, really? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Gonna eat them all. Uh, Ross Hardy said, I played Super Mario World for the first time in over 15 years recently. It was even better than I remembered it. I love that. I seriously love that game. That's got to be like the perfect platformer. It's got everything. It's got challenging stages. It's got easy stages. It's got so many alternate ways to beat certain stages. It's got fun power-ups, great graphics, great music. Like, I don't know how you could beat it. The Sea Butterfly. I never caught that. But can't The ICC stamp. That's as chilly as it gets. Thump. Okay. There's some pretty fish in here. The clown fish. That's Nemo right there. The sturgeon fish. That's Dory. Or excuse me. The surgeon fish. Not sturgeon fish. The butterfly fish. That's cool too. The greedy bachelor did 100 bit cheers. Have you ever colored a coloring book in a treehouse whilst your neighbors from across the way needed to borrow your vest to smell success? Yes. Moving on. What do we got down here? Lots of fish. The seahorse. I see a red snapper back there. A squid, of course. Many squid. We've caught many a squid. The red snapper. There he is. The dab fish. The olive flounder. The zebra turkey fish who's hiding right now. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's beautiful. I swear that thing in real life is called the lionfish. I swear it is, but maybe I'm wrong. It looks like a lionfish to me. The barred knife jaw and the sea bass. All right, guess what? The coast. Stamp it. Must not let fish know I'm craving sushi. Ha, that's messed up. That is pretty messed up. Thump. I collected all the fish stamps. So wait, isn't that all the stamps? I think I got them all. What happens if I go back to Blathers, maybe? Seems it to me, Dollar 30 said dinosaurs used to be on TGIF. You are absolutely right. Do you remember if you ever watched it? I watched the entire series from start to finish. I saw every episode of Dinosaurs. Not the mama, not the mama. <laughs> remember that shit? Remember how virally popular that fucking baby dinosaur was? Good lord. Ryan took the Dollar 30 and said, heading to bed, see you later. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you for the support tonight, and thanks for stopping by. You have a good night, man. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Up to forty-one dollars. Oh crap! Up to forty-one dollars of tips tonight, guys. We're more than a third of the way to the tips goal, so thank you guys for the support so far. All right. Cheerio Eater says they're officially scared the vest streak is going to end. Cheerio Eater, I have something I need to tell you. All right, I want you to listen up. The vest streak is eventually going to end. There's no possible way the vest streak can go on forever. All good things must come to an end. Even if literally every day that I stream from until now until I end I hit the vest streak goal it still has to end when I stop streaming you know what I mean like one day I'm going to die <laughs> the vest streak cannot go on forever it just can't it's impossible it will end at some point I guarantee you it will whether it's tonight whether it's tomorrow whether it's in a week whether it's in a month whether it's in a year whether it's in a decade whether it's the last day that I'm on stream in my deathbed and I let out the most disgusting, loud, raucous fart ever as I pass my last gas. Whatever happens, it's going to happen. And we all have to accept that. And it's probably not going to be then. It's probably going to happen way before then, by the way. Um, Ninstar Root Cheers, your favorite Leslie Nielsen movie. Watching Naked Gun for the first time on Netflix. Hilarious. Naked Gun movies are really funny. I actually really like those movies. I, I watched them many times because I had HBO when I was a kid. And they would always be on HBO. So I love the Naked Gun movies. All I think the first and second are good. The third one's not very good. 33 and the third, nah. The first one and the second one are pretty good, though. 
Uh, Greedy Bachelor Charity said, for the vestry, can we build a statue of you in Minecraft whilst wearing the vest? That's Greedy Bachelor, if you can believe it. We have to do that at some point in the future. That was much earlier this year, like two months ago. And previously this year, I was doing who the top contributor during a Minecraft stream would get to ask for something in the game. And the last top contributor actually asked for that. And I was like, that is so crazy elaborate. I can't let anyone else request anything. It's going to take too long to do these projects. So I stopped doing the whole top uh, top contributor gets something in the game. It didn't make sense to do it anymore. But it's going to happen. Eventually, I'm going to build that. Okay. Okay. All right, Blathers. By my beak, you finished the stamp rally in the bug exhibit. Your willingness to explore the bug rooms with such gusto is admirable. I find myself lingering there quite impossible. Anywho, here's the prize that was promised. What's that? I'm presenting with the completion stamp. Oh, okay. Should you find yourself exploring the other exhibit rooms trying to let these stamps there? Someone is just... I already did the other rooms, though. Well, first of all, what did he give me? Bug plaque? I guess I'll have to check it out later. A bug plaque. Here we go. You finished the stamp rally in the fish gallery. So he has different dialogue for each one. Your nook phone takes marvelous photos. You know, I didn't even think about that. You could take pictures in, in the museum rooms if you want, like, a really nice picture of one of the animals. I didn't even think about that. Well, what? Of course, there's that prize you promised. All right, here we go. Cool. Jolly good, I should now present you with the completion stamp. All right. Oop. Now should you find yourself exploring the other exhibits, do try collecting stamps there. Someone says yourself is certain to find a worthy blah, 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 blah. Good evening, Nihilistic Goldfish. How are you? Good to see you. Blah, 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 blah. All right, last one. My feathers, you finished the stamp rally in the fossil gallery. You're pleased with me to my pin feathers to see you frolic amid the fossils, so. It's with great pride I present you with the prize you were promised. An owl completion stamp. Who and what? what? You collected all the stamps available today. I think you've enjoyed the stamp rally to such a degree I can't help but puff my feathers with pride. I thank you. I hope that you revel in this, all the museum has to offer. So I wonder, this is only the first day I did it, right? So I wonder if I come back on another day, because I'll be playing this again Sunday night this week, right? Will there be something different? Will there be different stamps to get? And will you get different rewards? I guess we could try it Sunday night, okay? You have a good evening as well, beautiful butterfly. Thank you. Um, I'm curious if Kat bought and added any more art to the actual art gallery portion of our museum. Because I've never run into the guy again, right? Since that first time. There it is. There's a starry night, even though they don't call it that, I don't think. Did Cat ever run into this guy again and buy another piece of art? No. Not that I can see, right? Empty. So, uh... <laughs> it's not much of an art gallery. I wonder how do, we, how do we get this guy to show up so we can buy art? I wonder if there's a trick to it or something. I'll have to ask, ask Cat if she ran into the guy or what. Huh. Yes, I did watch Perfect Strangers. So you know what? Derek, that's a good point. It started off with, if I remember correctly, wasn't it, the block was, if I remember, um, TGIF when it started, when it launched, was Full House, Perfect Strangers, Family Matters, and I think another show that I don't remember. And then eventually they added in Step by Step, if I remember correctly, Perfect Strangers was the first show to actually have an end. And then they started adding in new shows into the rotation. I remember that Dinosaurs was one of them at one point, I believe. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Oh. There's some idiot who's trolling and screaming and highlighting messages and stuff. I look down and like, what's he talking about? He's just an idiot. Okay. Clint says, it's total luck that the art dude arrives. Really? See, that's, I guess we don't have luck then. Because I know Cat plays it way more than me. I play it twice a week. And the art guy's never here. I've only seen the art guy once ever. Um, oh, alright. Let's talk to the sisters. The Able Sisters. And let's talk to all of our, our Islanders. See what they're up to tonight. Before we decide what we want to do. Hey, 
Hey there, welcome to the, the Able Sisters. We sell fashions made lovely by Clo. Uh, I don't like any of the fashions they ever sell, seriously. They're so tacky. But anyway, we ran another tailor shop like this in a different place before we came here. That was the shop our late parents left us. But then Label went on her journey, and all of our other friends set off to try new things, so we decided to get a fresh start, too. That's how we came to be here on Paw Print. That's a nice story. And coming here is totally the right call. It's fun, and the scenery is great, and you can't beat the neighbors. But I have to admit, I do miss our old store sometimes. I do, too. We were in that old place for quite a while, so it's filled with good memories. But it's still there, and we can visit it whenever, so let's just focus on making our new shop even better. Now, wait a minute. They're saying that the old shop's still there? Who's running it? Maybe they sold it? I've heard of that. Like, people start a business, and it's successful, but they want to move on and do something else, or they want to expand or do something different, so they sell the business to someone else, and then they start all over. So maybe that's what they did. BWT just subscribed for 33 months in a row and says, inch you closer to three years. Thank you very much, BWT, for so much support. Almost three full years. And it's good to see you tonight, by the way. Okay. Uh, Timbo Slice. By the way, there's two Timbo Slices now. There's Timbo, uh, who I is a longtime viewer, and this Timbo Slice is someone who's joined us maybe for the last three weeks. So just so you guys know, there's two different people. He says, I heard you used to smoke Bud back in the day. Very rarely. I only smoked Bud about four times in my entire life. I never really enjoyed it, so I never did it again. It was more of just about trying it out, seeing what it was, and of course, peer pressure. And after that, after doing it like four times and not liking it, I said, why am I going to keep doing it? So I never I never cared after that. Um, really? Garbage Gamer TV says, Mr. Belvedere, Boy Meets World, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Sister Sister, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, and something else I'm forgetting were in TGIF. Were they? Those must have been much later. I'm, I saw the actual launch lineup when they first started doing TGIF. Good point, sis. Let's keep working hard. Good old Maeve. She's really giving it her all. I have to admit, I know just what she means about missing our old shop. At the same time, I'm so, so glad we came to this island. I finally feel like we're a family again. That's nice. Wish I had more to offer for hospitality, but used it to settle for family time. It's a... Alright. Now, again, eventually I'm being told if you keep talking to them, you'll get to do custom designs and stuff, and I'm gonna keep trying. Okay. Oh, what is that? Look at that! Cat built a sand castle. That's neat. Oh, should I moved it. I put it in the water. <laughs> I see if she notices that I push it into the water. She probably won't. That's pretty cool. Uh, who's home? Who's home tonight? I think this is Chops, right? Oh, Chops is at work. I'm going to get a new DIY uh, diagram. Sorry, I'm doing a little DIY. I was in the zone. What are you making? Glad you asked. Right now, I'm making a wonderful and amazing basement flooring. I got the idea to make it from a crazy dream I had the other night. Want to hear more about it? Either the dream of the basement flooring? Sure, why not? Uh-oh. Uh, I've already forgotten my dream, but I have the recipe written down right here. You can have it. Give it a try, Phil. I can make this anyone can. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. And by the way, while we're doing that, we can also see our weekly objective, or our daily objectives. Excuse me. That's what they want me to do. Derek says he's been watching a new Pokemon anime. It's called Pokemon Journeys. Ash makes friends with Go and Chloe to be Professor Charisse from Vermilion City. I have not seen any Pokemon anime since the very first one. Seriously. Oh, wait. I didn't, uh, I didn't use the item yet. Duh. Okay. Sweet. I learned the item must be for basement flooring. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it's all stone. I guess some people might like that, but why would you want that inside your house, right? I guess if I make enough rooms, and eventually I'd design a basement, but I'm probably never going to use that. I very much doubt it. King Michael, I'm glad to hear that you're having a great day today. That's very nice. I hope you do enjoy the stream tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Melba. Do you know about Glee? It's one of my most favorite reactions, Phil. Watch this. So I just discovered a great creme brulee recipe. Oh, excited. That's pretty nice. It's a good way to show everyone that your heart is full of glee. Nice. I learned the glee reaction. I'm feeling pretty good right now. 
Nice. Need something, yay? Yay? They all the all the freaking islanders now have different sayings. I'm not in the know about any of these. Now Melba says yay. The greedy bachelor cheese do you still drink alcohol these days, chugging a few ones on my sixth beer. Every once in a while. It's not super often or anything. But every once in a while, I'll just happen to like if I'm in the neighborhood. I told you guys uh, like a few weeks ago at the very beginning of the pandemic i went to a liquor store and surprisingly the liquor store was open and surprisingly they had bottles of water and i was like why are they open and why do they have water when no other store has water of course that was at the very beginning of the pandemic things have changed now every store has water stocked again um but yeah very, not all the time when i go i usually buy like like for example i'll buy one of those handle i don't buy a little bottle i'll buy one of the handles so I, let's say i wanted to make a, a rum and coke I just make myself one every once in a while, maybe at night or something, just to relax or unwind. If I have a particularly stressful day, it's a nice way to unwind and, and not feel stressed and get easily to sleep. Um, but I don't do it often. I used to, like I said, I used to be hardcore into, like, I used to drink every effing day. That's how bad it was at one point in my life. You know, that was 10 years or more ago. But I'm much better now than I used to be, for sure. That was not good stuff. You know, you guys saw how I used to look. I was overweight. I was drinking constantly. Real bad. That was a bad time in my life, you know. But anyway, let's talk. A little while ago, I ran into someone visiting from Off Island. Have you seen them too? Well, I have met Off Islanders visiting. I saw Gulliver, who's been a shipwreck. I met other people just visiting as well at point. Most of them joined the island though, right? Oh, look who it is. It's Celeste. Good evening. Aren't the stars exquisite tonight? Pretty too, I almost forgot. I came across a recipe for an astronomical project in a book. I jotted it down. I'd like you to have it. You let me know if you try building. It's probably going to be another wand. Another wand recipe. Have a splendid rest of the night. I know I shall. It's got to be. Yeah, you know what? Is it one I already know? Gemini? Wait, what's a Gemini closet? It's not a wand. What is this? What in the hell is a Gemini closet? Ooh. That's fancy. I don't have any. I don't have Star Fragments, Gemini Fragments. Or I, you know, I'm pretty sure I have Gold Nuggets stored. I, I definitely have some Star Fragments stored, but I don't think I have any Gemini Fragments. That looks really nice. That's like a super fancy thing you try in like a mansion, right? That's cool. <clears throat> By the way, let's see what our challenges are for tonight for Nook Miles. BWT wants to know, do I think Damir is wrongly ridiculed? Listen, Damir is not a great game. It's got tons of flaws. It's not anywhere near as high of any kind of a production value as any game that you would see released in the modern era. But for a game that's made by only 10 people, it's not bad. For If you're looking for a survival horror that's a little different, you're probably going to enjoy it. It's tough. Like today, I actually had some pretty big difficulty trying to survive in it because I had no healing items and the game wasn't giving me any. But overall, I said this a million times, I really feel like it's kind of a guilty pleasure now of mine, because I know the game's not good, but I still enjoy playing it. It's kind of like when I watch the Super Mario Brothers movie or the Street Fighter movie from the 1990s. I know they're not good, but I actually have some pleasure watching them as like a cheesy B-movie kind of a deal, you know what I mean? So that's kind of how I'm feeling the entire time that I'm actually playing that. So we have to hit rocks. We got five times bonus for hitting rocks tonight. I should definitely do that by the end of the night. Catch a catfish, catch five fish, pops a balloon, and earn bells by selling items. Okay, fair enough. In fact, if we go, we use my Newt Miles ticket tonight, I should do all these for sure, which is really nice. Beast bought to me a dollar thirty. says, I'm stuck between buying a nice condo or a great truck. Which should I buy? I guess the real question here, Beast bot, would be what needs to improve more in your life sooner? Your living situation or your driving situation, right? If you're okay with where you're living, then why rush to buy a condo? A condo is a huge commitment. You're talking upwards of 30 years in some cases. And it's a big change in your life to have that kind of responsibility. Versus a car, maybe a five to seven year commitment, depending on your credit and the terms of the loan and the cost or whatever, you know. But then again, if your car is fine, why are you getting a car, see? So it's really your personal preference depending on what you really need. That's my opinion anyway. Greedy Bachelor Cheers, it's being of old school, what happened to all the beanies you used to wear in videos like the shark one? The shark one? I had a shark beanie? I think you're talking about Bullet Bill. I had a beanie with Bullet Bill from Super Mario World on it. 
I lost that beanie. So when I was first dating my wife, okay, one of the times when she was visiting me here, we went out to a few places and we went out to the local mall and I had it in my pocket. And then when I got in my car and I reached back to grab it, it was gone. So that beanie fell out of my pocket probably three years ago and I never saw it again. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That really sucks. Cause that beanie used to be, I used to wear that all the time in my videos, right? As for other beanies, I still have them. I don't know if I currently have any in the room right now. Uh, the one up beanie, that's the one up mar uh, mushroom from Super Mario. I wear that out if it's a cold in the winter. That's the one I actually wear on my head and I wear out. Um, and I own probably like two or three other beanies outside of that. Like there's a Punisher beanie and stuff. But in general, I used to wear those beanies when I did vlogs. Like for example, I'd be talking to the camera, doing a vlog video, talking to you guys, right? I stopped doing those. Now I'm a live streamer. So I can't wear a beanie over my head when I have these headphones, see? So there's really no reason to wear the beanie. The beanie was a way to kind of keep my hair in check when I was doing a vlog. Back then, I didn't want to just oh, put water in my hair and shake it all worked up to film. Uh, so I just tossed a beanie on. But there's no reason for me to do it anymore because I don't make vlogs anymore. I just wear the headphones. Um, Falcon, three, two, three, three, uh, excuse me. Falcon32395, resubscribe for 15 months. Thank you, Falcon. He says, keep up the great work and best of luck for the future. You as well. Thank you very much, Falcon, for the support. Crabcock did a 200-bit cheer to become tonight's top cheerer. And he says, good evening, Phil. What was for dinner tonight? Leftover chili. My wife yesterday made an amazingly awesome homemade chili. And she makes enough for two nights. Now, we could have had that chili any other night of the week. But we like it so much, we actually had it two days in a row. So that's all we had was more homemade chili. Okay. I know you guys need to heavily document what I eat every day. It's very important that you know this, but... All right, so we know what we got to do for our objectives here tonight. Oh, 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 I need to pop that. That's one of the objectives. Pop a balloon. Cool. Let's see what we got. Double mile. Sell fruit. Oh, that's so lame. <laughs> Five clay. All right. Let's see who is home here. I believe this is candy. That's correct. What's she up to? Hey, Phil. How you been? I haven't seen you around. Have you been avoiding me? You goof. I'm always happy to chat with you. Not at all. I just don't play that often. What is this, sweetie? Let's chat. My friend making chat is, is to go hard with the personal chat. I always want to learn everything in one go. Oh my gosh, spill it all. So what am I going to learn about you today? Let's see. What kind of stuff do you like to read? Graphic novels, which are also in the comic books, magazines, travel guides, something else where I don't read books. Uh, let's say something else. What do I like to read? I don't know, we'll say suspense. Now, you know what? Ah, oh, shit. Thriller. Mysteries. A thriller mystery. So, thriller mysteries, right, sweetie? Yes. Oh, thriller mysteries. I should have expected a deep cut from you. If you like it, it has to be good. I'll give it a shot, too. Well, there you go. She's gonna go check out a thriller mystery book and see if it's any good. Uh. Snoozy Biku Cheer said, Would you rather have Tom Nook pardon all your debts, have a sweat passionate one night stand with the Able sisters or hold hands with the cute femboy Raymond and grow old together. Considering, number one, none of these characters are real and <laughs> therefore I don't want to have a relationship with any of them. And number two, the fact that most of my life, my major source of stress and concern has been debt. I'm going to say have Nook forgive my debts. There you go. There you go. Master Shake tipped me $1.50. He says, I was reveled as a guest on Animal Talking. The Danny Drio plays Animal Crossing. Elijah Wood went viral a couple weeks ago after he visited a person's island to sell turnips. Okay. 
I really don't understand. That seems like three completely disjointed statements. So I'm just going to say thank you for the tip, Master Shake. I'm a little confused, a little jarred. My head's a little shaken up by that one. But let's continue. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is going on on the island. This is uh, Cherry, who sent me a, a letter, which was nice. All righty then. Why is she asleep? First of all, wait a minute. First of all, it says you take me out in a dance battle. Was I napping? Better question, was I drooling? She's wearing a shirt that looks like a strawberry. You notice that? What's up, Bam? Oh, she says Bam. Cat knew a strawberry just to fit my style. So that's why she has the strawberry dress. Cat gave it to her. <laughs> a strawberry dress. That's funny. Would I ever consider getting a dog? Probably not. Not to say that Cat and I don't like dogs. We think they're very cute. But I think we're definitely cat people. We don't. We don't think we want to put the amount of work and effort into raising a dog that needs constant discipline and training and stuff. You know what I mean? Cat has mail. Of the teller. Oh shit! What I just do? Let's see if uh, she has anything going on inside her house that's new. I know Zelda Minis, her face matches the dress the same color. Both pink. I still really like how refined Kat's house is. Look how fancy it is. My house is so basic and hers is like so amazing. She's also playing really good music right now. <laughs> Again, I really like her... Uh, I like her, her kitchen, but nothing new. Everything looks the same. Nothing's been changed since last time. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> the thing that annoys Cat and I is that sometimes you'll go to the store, like a pet store, and they'll have like a giant area for dogs and a small area for cats. It's the same thing like the bookstore. Five million books about dogs, three books about cats. It's like... <laughs> Not proportionate. It's not fair. Nihilus the Goldfish asked if I ever heard about the game called The Forest. Someone had mentioned that actually the other day, saying that it was some kind of like a survival game. Kind of like um, Don't Starve, but apparently it has horror aspects to it. But no, I never played it or anything like that. I just knew it existed. There you go. Screw that. Derek says, it seems like everyone has a different nickname for me. Rotro, Sweetie, and Gold. What's my favorite? I I don't I don't like any of those. <laughs> okay. It's pecan. Oh, she has a kimono. Look at that. A kimono. I like that. She's stretching, doing yoga. Come in, come in. Welcome to my home, Roro. What's the latest? Not to be a busybody, do you know if Kat has any hobbies? Oh, I know. Ah, yes, uh, of course you would know. You two do seem quite close and you must tell each other everything. To be honest, I'm a bit jealous. I just hope they confide in me as well one day. All right. Well, all right. I mean, I'm married to her, so I pretty much know everything about her. <laughs> okay. Well... At this point, we're almost done with the first hour of Animal Crossing for the week. And I would say this go through the museum getting the stamps is pretty neat. Nothing too amazingly different or special, but it was kind of fun. Is there anything else going on right now? Because what I might do is get some fruit to sell over here at the Peach Grove. Oh, never mind. Looks like Cat had the same idea. But you know what I should do? I'll just, even though this fruit won't be worth a lot. Put it away. Even though this fruit won't be worth a lot, because this is the native fruit to our island, just sell enough, I think it's five, to get the uh, the daily accomplishment and the nook miles for it, right? There's a one of the man-faced stink bugs sitting on top of a beautiful array of flowers. That's very nice right there. Okay. Okay. 
I can't believe it. It's different music. Cat had that same music playing for the longest time and she changed it. That's not like a merengue or something, right? The merengue. Who's over here? I can't remember who lives here. It's Prince. Huh? It's been a while since, you and I, since we talked, I think. I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. Maybe my jar of Tom Yum Kong finally went bad. I don't know why, but I keep it in a warm, damp place. But anyway, in my dreams, we talked every night. Sometimes you had two heads. So I'm betting right now is real. Okay, that's a lot of information that I didn't need to know. What's up, Roro? Okay. Just long, extra long sofa fits my butt perfectly. What? Oh, that sofa. Oh, I just noticed he has a, ma a sofa that matches his bed. That's kind of nice that he has a matching set. I wish I had a matching set. Uh, no, no, Derek, I've not seen Cody yet tonight. Not seen him. He's got to be around here somewhere, but no dice. And he's not home. We passed his house earlier and he wasn't home. There it is. So, that's a no-go. Eric to me a dollar says, You think if Mario games were on the GameCube... Wait a minute, let's try that again. If you think, Do you think if Mario games that were on the GameCube were on the PS2 instead that they would have sold tens of millions? I calculated Sunshine would have allegedly sold around 39 million. Um, undoubtedly, Nintendo first-party games sell less than if they were had been cross-platform. They're amazing games. They're games that everyone would enjoy. So, definitely, I think, limiting to them to only the one platform, the first-party platform, does hold back their sales. We actually significantly inflated the sales to the point where it would be, like, the best-selling game of all time. I don't know. That's a what-if scenario. And I can't answer that. I'm not an analyst. I definitely think, though, it would have, it would have sold better. Oh, I didn't even come over here. Hey, look, there's Cody. So touchdown, you, you look pumped. It's a great day for some cross training. Here's Apple. Hi, how's my bestie, Roro? I want to chat. My sketch for tonight is packed. There's a monster movie on TV, video games to play, music to blast. I might just be an all nighter. Now, wait a minute. I wanted to talk to Sprocket, but he appears to have disappeared. Darn. So who's this guy? I don't recognize this guy. Kicks. Welcome. Whoa, whoa, what do we have here? I haven't seen your face before. The name's Kicks. You might already guess that I'm the source for shoes, socks, and bags. Oh. I swing by the island once a week. I look forward to seeing you around, new chum. All right, all right. If it's all right with you, why not take a look and see my offerings on this fine day? I have never met this guy before. Wrestling shoes. That's interesting. Paw slippers, so slippers that look like actual animal paws. Flower shoes, kitty socks, a pleather crossbody bag, a travel pouch, sequin leggings, soccer socks, an evening bag, a hand knit pouch, and an outdoor backpack. I already have a backpack as part of my ensemble, so I'm not really going to buy any of this, I don't think, but that's kind of neat in different vendors. His name is Kix. Nice. Um... Greedy Bachelor did a hundred bit cheer and said, Do you think the future of gaming will be based around vi a virtual reality and motion sensors running the controller in front of TV gaming obsolete? No. I could be completely wrong and off base. My answer is no. All right. Very nice. 